So a cold, wet December morning. Something what I've wanted to do for a long time. We're going to uh, we even got my glove, my here. Uh, keep my hands warm. We're going to take these top two racks off up here because they all need sorting out. Um, we need to uh, yeah take these top two racks down. Cause I want to build a mezzanine floor that comes off here, comes off here. Got some steps up. Got some more storage up there. So and we need to sort all these racks out. There's nothing really of any value, but it's just all you know spare parts and bits and bobs and you know old batteries, all sorts of all sorts of bits really. So we'll have a good sort through everything, so everything's easily accessible, nice and neat and tidy. We've got some belts hanging up. We can hang them up up there. Look. So the first thing to do, yeah, we'll pull them off so we can we want the RSJ to bolt onto there then bolt onto there and then my idea is instead of having like a post just here that goes up is hang it from there and bolt it to the ceiling so there's not like a post in the way so we'll we'll have a go and just like that they're down it's not just like that it took quite a few hours actually but we've got some junk got some old tractor radiators massey ferguson baler rams i think these radiators are off a marshall model m PTO guards, old industrial light look. Some of this been here 30 years. Starter motors and dynamos for tractors. Pipes. All sorts of uh, all sorts of stuff that now we've got to sort through. So the steel's turned up. These are the RSJs, always getting red oxided so they don't go rusty before I paint them. So we've got two bits there, and we've got a smaller bit which is the leg which supports it all we've got uh, some 10 mil flat plate which will be welded on the end here like that so we'll drill some holes in so it can bolt up in this pack here there's some 100 by 50 bits are there for the stairs the 50 by 50 box is all for the handrails and then these bits here are for the steps just at some angle on to support it and then we'll screw some or bolt some like a scaffold wood or something like that on top so yeah we'll get these slid in and uh, see if we can lift them up they're all cut to size as well because it's a lot easier save me cutting it just get it all cut from the steel works just set the laser level up look up here that's level and then we're going to move it over this side so that we know where to bolt that side and that side Just in the way, Tom. My boot's in the way, is it? Uh, how's that? There we go. Where do we want to be? Just slightly in the way. And then I'll mark it. Then yeah. so that's the same height as that one over there. Good to go. Getting this welded on. These plates are just cut. Ready to bolt up. This one goes on here, like that. Oh yes, look. Very good. So a bit welded on. And there, just got a weld underneath as well. Then we need to drill four holes in here for the post. I've decided that the post needs to go down now instead of up to the roof because over the years we're just going to fill the whole thing with junk and it's going to get a bit too heavy for the roof to support.
first bit is welded. Well, they're all bit, all these bits are welded. So we're going to lift this bit up there with a digger, and then the next bit we'll lift up there with a the JCB, and then put the steel post from the floor up. First bit's in. There. Then this bit, we're going to lift this bit in from there to there, then get the post from there to there. Oh, look at this, look. It's like it's made to fit. Poster's got a bit dirty on the floor. I'm gonna drill these out here and put some ground anchor bolts in. Still steaming. It's been welded up. So next bit we've got to do, got to put some big, well, I've got some big wooden timber purlins, the same as these when I built the grain shed. We've got 10 left over. So that'll be just right to go in there. And we're gonna have the stairs going up there with some handrails, removable handrails up here so we can put stuff in and out. Timber purlins. Number two. Get them shoved in like that, look, and we can drag them across. Beams are on. These plates here are holding it, and another bit of wood just goes across here like that. I've got these floorboards here to go up on top. Lovely. Putting the floorboards down. Got the last one to do. And we've got handrails to put up. And I have one that lifts out so we can put stuff in. Long here. And then some steps over there. Hang all our belts up up here. So it's pretty, it's very solid. So yeah, we'll get on the handrails. Then we can have some lights under here and run our cables and all our airlines around here as well. Just starting the uh, stairs. Just welding this, it's plated to that block work wall. Building a frame that I'm sat in, I just welded it all up and put the legs down there like that. Got these as well. Hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Go to the Tom Lamb online shop, go to my Instagram, tomlam980, and you'll see the link in the bio. stairs in putting this angle iron in here like this and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna bolt scaffold boards for, to walk up obviously starting to come together Steps are all in. We'll bolt all the wood on when we've uh, when we've painted it all. We're just putting the handrails up now. They go up here like this, look. One over there, one here. Just tacking them all up. So there, we'll get all them welded up. And then down this side here, we'll have another one there. And then this bit, there's gonna be a two meter section that we'll be able to remove to be able to lift things up if we ever need to. Just start to put the handrail on all up for the stairs but then I realised can't reach any pa further past than there with a the welder so I've had to put it in the bucket I'm going to lift it up there so we can weld everything off the top now stairs is up got the welder up here now just welding these last few bits on then this bar here this is going to be the removable bit so we'll have a bit there and a bit there and we've still got the rails to go around the middle as well ham rails are going up look Looking good. So all the handrails are done. 
these two bits here are removable. Go like that, look. And the same with this bit here. So what happens is this bolt goes through here. Oh, not quite in the right place. There we go. Like that. And then we're going to drill a hole and put a linch pin through there. And then the same on this end as well. Linch pin through there. And then these two on the bottom. And then we can lift stuff up with the JCB and fill this whole area. So we can lift the welder back down now. So the last bit of welding we've done is this kick plate. This bit comes out, but all this kick plate here, you have to have it for health and safety so that you, know, you don't kick anything off on top of someone's head. So yeah, we've got to paint it. So I'm going to paint it green, same as the uh, RSJs. So there we have it. One more bit of steel to weld just here, which is sat just there. And then we're going to paint it all and then put the wood on when we're finally done. So yeah, this is part one of the workshop revamp. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.